In a bold and strategic move, the Philippines has initiated the construction of an airport on Pagasa Island, the Tu Island, in the South China Sea. This development comes amidst ongoing territorial disputes and rising tensions with Beijing. The construction is part of a broader effort to strengthen Manila's presence in the contested waters and assert its sovereignty over the region. The South China Sea, a vital maritime region rich in resources, has long been a flashpoint for territorial disputes. Nations including the Philippines, China, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei have overlapping claims, driven by the area's abundant fish stocks and potential oil and natural gas reserves. China's expansive territorial claims, marked by the Nine Dash Line, overlap significantly with those of its neighbors, leading to persistent regional friction. Despite a 2016 international tribunal ruling in favor of the Philippines and against China's claims, Beijing has largely ignored the decision, continuing to build and militarize artificial islands in the disputed waters. Pagasa Island, internationally known as Titu Island, is the largest Philippine-occupied island in the Spratly Archipelago. Home to a small Filipino community and military personnel, the island symbolizes Manila's resolve to maintain a foothold in the region despite ongoing disputes. Tensions have recently flared, with the Chinese Coast Guard intercepting Philippine vessels within internationally recognized Philippine waters. Earlier this year, a Philippine supply boat was damaged by Chinese forces using water cannons, leading to injuries among the crew. These incidents have prompted Manila to vow retaliatory measures, underscoring its determination to protect its interests. The construction of an airport on Pagasa Island is a key component of the Philippines' strategy to enhance its presence in the South China Sea. Funded under the 2024 Aviation Transport Infrastructure Program, this investment aims to improve both civilian and military access to the island, reinforcing its strategic importance in territorial disputes and resource management. This initiative, while not identical, can be seen as a strategic effort akin to elements of China's salami-slicing tactics. Incremental moves to strengthen territorial claims without provoking direct conflict. China has employed such tactics by building runways and artificial islands in the South China Sea to bolster its territorial claims. Similarly, the airport project on Pagasa Island asserts the Philippines' presence in the contested waters. The comparison lies in the strategic intent to enhance access and sovereignty, though the Philippines' approach is markedly different in transparency and adherence to international law. The airport's development involves extending the runway, a process requiring complex negotiations with local stakeholders and adherence to regulatory standards to ensure environmental and safety compliance. Once completed, the airport will significantly enhance travel to and from this remote island currently hindered by limited infrastructure. Improved accessibility is expected to bolster supply routes, facilitate the transport of goods and personnel, and potentially boost tourism and investment. The island's pristine beaches and rich biodiversity make it an attractive destination for ecotourism, which could invigorate the local economy. China's salami slicing strategy includes various tactics such as building artificial islands and deploying Coast Guard vessels to assert control over disputed areas. In contrast, the airport project is a single infrastructure development aimed at reinforcing the Philippines' sovereign rights and improving the living conditions for its citizens on Pagasa Island. This measured approach underscores the Philippines' commitment to upholding international law and peaceful coexistence while safeguarding its territorial integrity. The construction of the airport raises significant environmental and social concerns. The South China Sea hosts diverse marine ecosystems that could be jeopardized by large-scale construction projects. Filipino scientists continue to study the environment and biodiversity in the area, highlighting the need for measured steps to preserve and rehabilitate the region. Recent marine scientific research, led by Jonathan Anticamara, of the University of the Philippines Institute of Biology found coral reefs in Sandy Cay, 
near Pagasa Island in a degraded state. Maybe at least Pagasa and the Pagasa case will have more fish, big fish, like I was expecting sea sharks or... The Philippine Coast Guard attributes this environmental damage to China's activities, including the suspected massive illegal harvesting of corals in Rosul Reef. The Philippine government must ensure that development adheres to international environmental standards to mitigate adverse impacts. Socially, the influx of construction workers, increased military presence, and potential tourism boom could disrupt the local community's way of life. Authorities need to address these issues proactively, ensuring that development benefits the local population and avoids social displacement or environmental degradation. China has unequivocally opposed the Philippines' construction activities on Pagasa Island. A spokesperson from China's U.S. Embassy reiterated Beijing's stance, asserting indisputable sovereignty over the Nancha Kundao, Spratly Islands, and condemning Manila's illegal occupation and unlawful construction. China has been committed to resolving relevant disputes with the Philippines through direct negotiation and friendly consultation on the basis of respecting historical facts and international law, the spokesperson stated. We hope the Philippine side will honor its commitments, fully and effectively implement the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea, and get back onto the right track of bilateral negotiation for the disputes at an early date. This reflects China's entrenched position on the South China Sea disputes. Despite the tribunal's ruling, Beijing continues to assert its territorial claims, militarizing artificial islands and maintaining a robust presence, leading to frequent confrontations with other claimants, particularly the Philippines. The United States, a long-standing ally of the Philippines, has expressed support for Manila's efforts to assert its sovereignty. In a trilateral meeting at the White House in April 2024, President Joe Biden, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, and Filipino President Ferdinand Marcos underscored the importance of addressing these territorial disputes on the international stage. To build an Indo-Pacific that is free, open, prosperous, and secure for all. The United States, the United States defense commitments to Japan and to the Philippines are ironclad. The U.S. has also expanded its defense agreement with the Philippines, allowing access to new military sites. This move is viewed as a strategic countermeasure to China's growing military footprint in the region, reinforcing U.S. commitments to maintaining regional stability and freedom of navigation. The Philippines' decision to build an airport on Pagasa Island is poised to have far-reaching implications. On one hand, it enhances Manila's ability to monitor and defend its territorial waters, potentially deterring aggressive actions from other claimants. On the other, it risks escalating tensions, particularly with China, leading to more frequent and possibly severe confrontations. Neighboring countries with overlapping claims, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei, are closely monitoring these developments. While some may support Manila's assertiveness, viewing it as a precedent for reinforcing their own claims, others may approach with caution, wary of provoking further regional instability. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, has long advocated for a peaceful resolution to the South China Sea disputes. However, the lack of a unified stance among its members has often hindered collective action. The Philippines' bold move could potentially galvanize ASEAN to adopt a more assertive position, though this remains uncertain given the diverse interests of its members. Australia commits to working with you to make sure the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity, equality and independence are upheld to ensure our region is secure, resilient, open, inclusive and prosperous. Our understanding that more than any other part of the world, Southeast Asia is where Australia's destiny lies. This is why we will continue to support your ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific and ensure the stability and peace of our region. The future of the South China Sea remains uncertain. The Philippines' construction of an airport on Pagasa Island is a significant move that could reshape regional dynamics. However, it also carries the risk of escalating tensions and provoking a more assertive response from China. Diplomatic efforts will be crucial in preventing further escalation. Multilateral forums like ASEAN and the United Nations could play pivotal roles in facilitating dialogue and promoting cooperation among claimants. It is apparent that peace, security, and stability are fundamental prerequisites 
for national social economic development in all countries in the world. The Asia Pacific region is one of the most dynamic regions of the world in terms of economic growth. The international community's involvement will be key in ensuring that disputes are resolved peacefully, respecting the rights and interests of all parties involved. The Philippines' decision to build an airport on Pagasa Island amid the South China Sea tensions is a bold assertion of sovereignty. While this development underscores Manila's determination to protect its territorial claims, it also heightens the risk of regional instability, particularly with China's strong opposition. As the situation evolves, diplomatic engagement and multilateral cooperation will be essential in navigating these complex territorial disputes. The hope remains that through dialogue and concerted efforts, a peaceful resolution can be achieved, respecting the diverse claims and interests in the South China Sea.